Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're back again. Two videos, man. Hey, I'm getting there, man. I'm getting there. But guys, as you guys can see, it's start. No, start up. So, hey, STS is on my mind. It is. It's keep known sell of our team, our players that we have right now, and who I want, who I want to learn out, and who I want to. Adios. But before I continue, though, before I continue, I'm trying to become a YouTuber, innit? Like, sub, and share just to show some love, man. And one more thing as well that I forgot. As you guys can see, I'm, I'm wearing a different jersey. I'm wearing a different shirt, bro. And Nassr, shout out to my guy, Abdullah. He sent me this after I actually announced I was making a YouTube channel. And he was just trying to sh show some love. And he was a big fan. But, bro, I appreciate you. I can't lie, man. Hey, Ronaldo's wearing this, by the way. But this is, by the way, this is not last season. This is an OG El Nassr shirt. If you know, you know. The Saudi fans, if you know, you know. But anyway, listen, let's go straight to the video. So basically, let's let's look at it. I'ma start from the top. I'ma start from goalkeepers, take it from defenders, midfielders, and end it off with attackers. And I'ma also mention certain academy players that we need to look out for that others might not know. For us Madrid fans, we should know. And if you don't, this is your chance to actually know them well. Let's start with Tebow. Sell him. <laughs> Jenkin. Burn him. <laughs> Jenkin. Well, now listen, Tebow. Well, what else can I say about Tebow? Come on, man. Is it fair to say Tebow Prime? It's Prime Tebow. It's better than Prime Cassius. It's just for you to decide. I'm, I'm, I'm not making it. This is just for a question for you guys. Tebow, of course, keep him. Lunin. I can't lie, man. Listen, Lunin. <sighs> Yo, I want... Listen, he's not going to start, of course. Should we learn him out? But at the same time, if we learn him out, we're going to get someone else. He's a good he's a good backup. But then again, the chances he's had this season, specifically in the Cup of the Ray early part, let's keep him warm. Even though he, he he even came out and said, I'm tired of being a backup. But then again, you're, you're back up to Tebow. It's not like you're going to start for him. But I feel like, you know what? Let's keep him one more season. If he complains, ship him out, innit? Oh my God. Danny Abu Kabakal. Hey. Bro, I've got a lot of things to say about you. But I'm a keeper professional, man. Listen, I, I actually like you. As uh, Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Like, it's crazy. I actually like you. I actually made a video about you. Yeah, I think I made a video about four or five months ago. I actually made a video saying that you're one of the most underrated fullbacks, right backs that we've ever had in this generation. And I, I actually still mean this. I, I'm not going to have this season cloud my judgment. Yes, I know some people have the recency bias. I'm not that type of person. This season, he's been awesome. Awful. Oh, he's been bad. I think it's been a three, four season. I think the last good season he's had, I would say maybe 1920. But I think with Danny Cavajal, we've had a nice little journey. We've had a nice chapter. We came back from Leverkusen, had 10 great years. At one point, at one stretch, you had, you were, in my opinion, the best right back in the world. That that's three piece season, you were exceptional. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your service. You've been amazing. You've been a vet. You've been a servant for this Madrid team over the past 10 years. I don't want you next season. I'm gonna be real. Maybe as a backup, I don't mind. You're not starting next season. If I see you start next season, then you know what? I'm gonna end YouTube. I think, you know what, Vakavachal, you know, let's keep him as a backup. I don't want you to start, but as a backup, I want you as a backup. That's one. Edda Militao, one of the best center backs in the world. At one point this season, he was the best center back in the world. His performance has dropped ever since he had that new, new missus of his. He also, his performance has also dipped when he had his missus earlier this season. He left, he left her, break up with her, had a mad good stretch. I swear to God, he was the best player in the world, best defender in the world. He had, he was the best defender in the world. And then when he then dated this little new missus of his, he became, he, became, he went back to being inconsistent. I think the moral of the story is, but be single. Come on, be single. I think, listen, let's let's not, let's not waste any time with Meditao. Keep him 100%. He's going to be the club captain. And by the way, one thing about Meditao, massive, massive props. After the whole Vinny situation, he was one of the few players he actually stood up and actually defended Vinny when he was attacked and got racially abused. So big up for him. So shout out, he's going to 100% become one of the best defenders we've ever had, so keep him. David Alaba. <sighs> the thing is about David Alaba, yeah? As a left back, yes, he started as a left back by Munich. He was very good. Him and Marcel and Alaba had that three years where a good, good number of years where they were, they were competing with the best left back positions. But now, bro, it's done. Whenever he's played left back this season, it's not been good. But as a, as a, as a, as a, as a centre back, in certain games, he's very useful just because of the fact we need him to we need him to build up the attack with. And he's our only left footed left back. And I think he's very good when he does that, especially when we play against a team that's gonna contain, that's gonna defend. And he's very important when it comes to building up from the back. But in a big game, like the game against City was the biggest demonstration of that. But I don't wanna sell him because he's gonna be an impactful player. Or when Rudiger goes out, when Militao goes out, he's gonna be the first person to step in. So yeah, keep keep Alaba as well. Vallejo. Something about Vallejo just 
just me up, just his face. Well, I don't know, man. Something about him just annoys me. I, I, I don't know what it is. Maybe worse than number five shirt. That that pissed me off. It's a big shirt for us. I don't know. I don't know about what Vallejo is. But then again, Nacho has just gone. So if Vallejo goes as well, do I want him? I, I don't want him actually. But then again, we don't have any replacement. So it makes sense to have him as a backup. But then again, even as a backup, he's not good. So, so what is it with him? I think I'm gonna start. This is the first person I'm gonna say goodbye to. Sell him, man. Nacho. It's a Nacho has already announced that he's leaving. I think Carlo Ancelotti came out. He was the first person that came out actually announced he was going to leave. I don't know if it's been, I don't know. I don't think it's been confirmed as of yet, but I think it's most, most likely he's going to leave. Listen, he's been a servant for the past 5, 10, 15 years. He's been very underrated. If you, if we go back and say, you know what, let's make our most underrated starting 11 for Madrid over the past 10, 20, 15, 20 years, Nacho would be in that starting 11. Whenever we need someone as a right back, he steps in. As a left back, he steps in. As a centre back, he steps in. People forget against City last season when we won the Champions League, he was in that team. He's been very, very underrated when it comes to crucial performances and he's been one of them. So listen, big up to Nacho, wonderful servant. It's just a props just for him because he deserves it. Odrizola. <laughs> we need to ship him and Saudi and Nasser, you need, a, you need a new right back. And I think Odrizola will be a great right back for you guys, man. Very good. Why, why am I lying, man? The guy is not good. You know what about Odrizola? You know what a lot of people don't know about Odrizola? You guys do know he won the treble with Bayern Munich. You guys didn't know that, innit? His CV is massive. He's got a good CV. But bro, ability-wise, he's not a good cross off the ball. He's not good defensively. He's not good going forward. What is he really good at? You guys do know what Westbrook said about Pat Bev. He's just out there running. He's fooling you guys. He's like running around. <laughs> Doing That's Odra Zola right there for you. Vasquez, Lucas Vasquez. I can't lie, you know what? I like Vasquez, you know? I like what he's done. I like where whenever Danny Kavaka went down, he was the first person in there. Whenever we needed, at one point, we needed a right winger, he was the first person out there. But even that, I think it's time for you to go, my bro. Vasquez, adios bro. Rudiger, I can't lie man, Rudiger needs more respect. Carlo Ancelotti needs to put more respect on his name. Cause I, I feel like he hasn't, start of the season, he played as a left back. What was that all about bro? You clearly saw what he did last year with Chelsea. People gonna say we well, played three at the back. Yes, I get it. With Germany, he played two at the back. At Chelsea with certain times, he played two at the back as well. He can play two at the back. This is what baffles me. Against Chelsea first leg, he kept Haaland on the lock bro. He was, he was on Hallen throughout the whole 90 minutes and then the second leg, you bench him. Long story short, Rudiger has to stay next season and he must start next season. He needs to be a guaranteed starter with Militao. That is an end, bro. Ferland Mendy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but Mendy in Arabic is a traditional Yemeni dish, which also is also in Iraq. It's basically a dish of Mendy. It's basically rice and meat. Sometimes, I can't lie, man, he's he's cooked this season. Mendy is bad. He's a bad football player. He's terrible. He's awful. What else? Is that another voice I can use? Bad, terrible, awful. IQ doesn't have no IQ. I can ask him what one plus one is. I'm sure. I was, I was just about to say one lie. He wouldn't know. But I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't know. That's how bad he is. I'm prepared to pay for him to go. He needs to go. Simple as. Is that a bit too harsh? Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz, man. If we look at this season from August to May, and if we had to pick one person who's been consistent throughout the whole season, Tony Cruz will be that person. He's been consistent throughout. There hasn't been dropped. Maybe certain games he's been poor, but other games he's been by far the best player and it's, it's highlighted in the games. It's evident in the games. I think with Tony Cruz, he's already announced he's going to stay one more season. I think he's announced it. He wants to, and I think Madrid is working on it, and I feel like it, he will stay for one more season. I think next season, he's going to call it a day, he's going to retire, even though he's still young, but he's going to retire. But I feel like one more, se one, one more season of Tony Cruz is needed. Luka Modric, what a perfect way to end the with Luca and start with Modric. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, that's crazy. Pass! Bye! Drizzy! Luca Modric, what can we say about this wonderful, wonderful man? Very good looking as well. If we go back through of Luka Modric, I think this season has been the most disappointing season that he's had. 
since his first season at Madrid. That speaks volumes. But I think that speaks to his age. He's now 37 years old, so I'm not expecting him to, to maintain that performance every single week. But at certain games, he's been good. Like Liverpool, at Liverpool at Anfield, one of the best midfielders, one of the best players. That, that assist to Benzema, where he carried the ball, went past one, two, and the pass to Benzema. That just, that's prime Luka Modric, that's vintage Luka Modric. But we haven't seen a lot of it this season. That comes down to injuries, that comes down to lack of match fitness, a lot of things. But I feel like Modric, even with Tony Cruz, I feel like it is fitting that both of them stay one more season and they call it a day together. Because we always we always think of Luka Modric and Tony Cruz together. And I think it's, it, it makes perfect sense for both of them to go at the same time. And I can't lie, when both of them leave next season, I think it's going to be an emotional, emotional day. I, I feel like we need to have... Spain Spain need to create their own Spanish bank holiday. And I think English should make it as well. Just just, just for the sake of it. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Camavinga! Camavinga! I love Camavinga so much. Post-World Cup, you guys have seen the type of player he is. Whether he plays left-back, whether he plays centre-back, whether he plays centre-mid as a 6, as an 8, as a 10. You guys, you guys have seen the quality of Camavinga. At at one point last season, when I said, and I got cooked so hard for that, by the way, I said last season, Camavinga should be a star and Camavinga is generational. People said, What? Are you crazy? Fake fact, Faisal. Another bad, uh, another bad Faisal take. I've got one more in me. <laughs> I, got, I saw a lot of that. But now, bro, you guys have seen post World Cup what he did. And even during the World Cup, comes on World Cup final as a left back. And bro, France didn't lose that game when Camavinga came on. He locked Messi up. And that just shows Camavinga ability, bro, as a left back. Wherever he plays, he is elite. And next season, he needs to be a guaranteed star. We spoke about Modric, we spoke about Tony Cruz, we spoke about this season where they haven't been the best. But I feel like starting from next season, Carlo Ancelotti, if you listen to this, if you hear this, next season should be the first season where both Tony Cruz and Luka Modric should not start together. One of them can start. I don't mind. You can pick and choose between one of them. Depending on the matchup, depending on the team, both of them should not be starting again. Together, it's not 2018, it's not 2016, it's not even last season. It's enough, bro. We've had enough of this. Camavinga must emerge now as a guaranteed star. But Carlo Ancelotti, if I see you star him one more time as a left back, or even in game management, put him as a left back, I will come to Spain and I will find you. And I <laughs> Fede Valverde Where should we start Fede? Should we start Beginning of the season Where you were One of the best players In the world Should we start Where ESPN themselves Big big ESPN by the way They, they put a picture up Karim Benzema Just won the Ballon d'Or trophy They took it to the Madrid um, Training ground And they put it on the ground Everyone was congratulating Benzema But there was a picture of you Looking at that Ballon d'Or Just looking like that With a mission and big, big ESPN captioned that, saying Fede Valverde has his, I don't know, I think they said his, has got his eyes on the prize or whatever it is. And that all comes down to props, which I've been giving you throughout the whole season. I've been calling the best right winger in the Premier League in the world. I call you the best, best, uh, the best, one of the best players in the world. I call you the best, most impactful player. And deserved so. The first three months, bro, Fede was unplayable. Screamers every single game in the Champions League against Barcelona. Every game when we needed a goal, Fede will be in there. Performances everywhere. Right winger, centre mid as a six, as an eight. He was exceptional. But then post World Cup, you went to the World Cup. You don't have the best of World Cups. Even though Uruguay as a team, as a collective, weren't that good. You come back from the World Cup. And I don't know what happened. It comes down to the personal side of things where, where his, his wife had, his, had, had problems. And his, with, with his kid, a lot of things went on personally. And of course, that's going to impact someone mentally. It's going to take someone's game out of it. And it, it, it was clearly with Fede. Like the first two months of the year, he weren't good. But let's be real. Let's, let's not sugarcoat it. He wasn't good. But I, I'm going to give him that benefit of the doubt. But even now, like since then, you still haven't been that good. But I feel like a part of it, maybe it's the excessive games that you played. It's like Arsenal, Saka. Start of the season, exceptional. Towards the end of the season, crunch time. Nowhere to be seen. Why? It's because Arteta keeps starting him. Arteta keeps playing him for no damn reason. For Arsenal, I get it. That's no replacement for the right wing position. But for Fede, that's, there is replacement. Drago can play the Camavinga, Chimini. There is, but I don't know why. Even when he was going through that personal, he kept he kept being started. And I feel like, I feel like as a manager, he should have given him a break, a week, two weeks, 
just once you're ready mentally, come back. That's what Ancelotti should have done with Fede, but he didn't do it. But I feel like next season, I feel like with Jude coming in and everything, I feel like it's going to be much better because next season is going to be a lot of competition and I'm going to be making a separate video about it, just basically saying what I want my midfield to look like for next season with Jude, combinations, whether it's going to be 4-4-2, or 3-3, 4-2-3-1, double pivot. It's going to be different teams and I'm going to make a video about it. But Fede next season, I feel like it's going to be a big game. And by the way, for Kalavinga, I forgot to say it. Of course, keep, Fede, keep as well. Chemeni. Chemeni, man, listen. At one point this season, early on this season, he was so, so good for us. He made us forget all about Casemiro. He was that good. He made us forget the impact of Casemiro. At one point, he had the most tackles. He had the most blocks. He had the most interceptions. He, was, he had the most progressive um, runs in the final third of all the midfielders. He was so good. Then, for some reason, when he came back after the World Cup, he got injured, which didn't help, by the way. He didn't help. But then when he came back, he didn't start, bro. Akamavinga was starting as a six, which I get he had to start as a six. But then again, I don't know why Ancelotti didn't integrate him slowly, maybe change the formation to get him in. He was out of the, he was out of the picture completely. And I, and I was one of the people who said, Chimeni should, must start in the Champions League against Man City, and he did not start. And I feel like, it's like Rudiger. Carlo Ancelotti is not looking at them. But yeah, I feel like Chimeni next season, similar to um, Kamavinga, he needs to consistently start most of the big games when we need six, because he's our best holding midfielder. He's our only holding midfielder. So why not start him, bro? Danny Sabayos. You know what, that you sold me a dream, you know? I was tweeting and I was saying in my TikTok videos, give him the extension, he deserves it. I even said you gave me Isco vibes. But now, bro, it's time to go. Eden Hazard, my love. Where, where should I start about Eden Hazard? If that's one player that I wished success to, beside myself, it would be Eden Hazard. It wasn't meant to be, man. That game against PSG at home, in the second half. Yeah. Reckless tackle, reckless tackle. <laughs> but yeah, you know what, Eden? Ma'a salama, bro. Kareem! Big Daddy Benzema! I don't know if he's going. I don't know if he's leaving. Well, I'm baffled. I am baffled. I don't know. By the time this video comes out, I don't know where he's at. I don't know if he's chilling in Madrid, doing his next trip videos. But either way, if you ask me without me knowing this, if I want him next season, yes, I want him for one more season. Vinicius. Vinicius, I can't lie, bro. You become, you slowly start becoming my love. I've said to myself in this channel, I'm not going to do a lot of hot takes. But you know what? <laughs> it's taking me two videos. Vinicius Jr. is by far, 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 the best player in the world. And no one sits with Vinicius Jr. on table. It's only him by himself. So Vinicius Jr., not just keep him. Extend his contract for 20 years. He's not leaving Madrid ever. Rodrigo! What he's done and how he's emerged himself. And bear in mind, he's doing it and not playing to where he wants to play. He's not even a right winger. He's made you forget that he's not even a right winger. But you can play him as a right winger. You can play him as a left winger. You can play him as a 10. And you can, you can play him as a 9. As a false 9. He is so good wherever he plays. In terms as a package, Rodrigo for me... Oh wow, that, the, the potential is, is massive. That right wing position should be his. So Rodrigo, stay. Mariano! <laughs> I want you to see this. I'm not saying this with hate. I respect how you've managed to fraud a living and you've managed to steal money from Madrid. You wear the number seven shirt. You know how crazy that is, bro? The Ronaldo shirt, the Raul shirt. Crazy. Sell him, bro. You guys know, sell him. I don't want to see him anywhere near Madrid, even as a holiday. Ban him, bro. He should be blacklisted for Madrid. Let me go through the academy players quickly. I think the ones who deserves a chance heading into next season. Nico Paz, with Asensio leaving and everyone leaving, and if we don't sign a right winger, he needs to be one of them. He's too good for Castillo. Learn him out to an actual La Liga side, or maybe to Germany, maybe to Holland. Get him, get him some game time, man. He's too good, bro. Sergio Arribas, bro. Keep him. He is so good. And lastly, Carlo Ancelotti. This is for you. You've given us that decimal. Thank you very much. As nice as possible. And I know you are going to stay. I don't want to, I don't want to see you. I, and I feel like it's time for you to go. You don't do anything, bro. But here's what it is. You're staying. Can't do much about it. But if it was up to me, terminate his contract. The same we did with Eden. Terminate his contract as well. This is my opinion on all of them. But give me your opinion. Name all of them that I've just done. And let me know who you want. You want to learn out. 
So, and who do you want to keep? It's my second video. I appreciate everyone for showing love, especially Abdullah as well for selling me this shirt. And yo, more content's gonna come up. Watch and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.